Hello Internet. Well, it's another blue sky day for now. They're trying their best to um, to change that. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Um, another little job to do today. Um, in the garage, first of all. So let me take you in there, show you what I'm going to do. So under the cover is, well, you know, a 9R and some wrapper. So my task today. Um, the brakes are never that good on ZX9Rs, it's common knowledge really, it's no big surprise, but, ooh, if I just turn my steering wheel around a bit, my brakes lately, it's almost hitting the handle. Now, I thought at first maybe it, uh, it needed bleeding, but I bled them and it's really made no difference at all. So, I'm assuming that the master cylinder... Uh, the rubbers inside have probably perished a little and it's not working as it should. I mean, the brakes still work, um, but I think if I had to stop in the emergency, it would kind of be a bit, um, well, bottom like a rabbit's nose, put it that way. So, I've got myself a repair kit. I'm going to take it off and, um, yeah, get it done. Oh, it can't hurt, can it? So, let's get stuck in with it. Right, pulled the bike out a little bit to give me a bit more access. And one of the first jobs I'm going to do, pop off the old nipple there and uh, drain the old fluid out. It's not that old actually, I uh, only changed it a few months back. Um, strangely enough, these are always 11 on most, well on all vehicles really. All Japanese vehicles, cars and things like that. On the, on the ZX, they're 10. Bizarre. So, I'm going to get my pipe on there, my trusty old container. And just drain out the fluids on both sides. There you go, pipes on, stop the waste, or stop the mess anyway. I'm just going to gently pump away, drain the reservoir. And as you can see, it's slowly going down. And just to make sure, I'm going to pull a bit of vacuum on it, just to get every last drop out. There you go, you didn't really pull much out at all. So, um, right, up to the top, and let's get started. So, first task, just pull that clip off there. I'm going to unscrew the reservoir, and I'm going to take it all off, pipe and everything, get rid of it completely. I think it would help me out. And there you go, removed. Excellent. Cleaned out, cleaned up, just for good measure. Right, next job. We have some pipe work to remove, I believe. Yes. Yeah, next job. So, let's just quickly nipped it off. Uh, 14 mil, just for reference. Um, lots of old rags scrunched up and pushed down and there to catch anything that comes out. Don't think there'll be much, but you don't want brake fluid on any of your surfaces on your bike, especially paint, because it will uh, make a right mess. Right, two hands are required for this. Okay, that's those two out without any mess, and just stick a bolt on the end there to keep everything together because you've got some copper washers. Now we'll take the copper washers up and re-anneal them, I think it's called. Uh, just basically heat them up and it expands them back again so uh, you can reuse them. Right, right, two bolts now and then hopefully that unit should all come off as one. Okay, brackets off and removed. Uh, last thing, there is your brake switch underneath there. Just need to disconnect that. And she's off. Right, let's get stuck into it. Right, a little bit of cloth on there just to keep the uh, mess at bay. First thing, I think, looking at it, we need to get the lever off itself. Oh, that's relatively easy. Excellent. Yeah, it's very unusual to have a screw alone there, but it screws into the bottom of the casing and uh, it works. All right, so now in theory, the lever will slide out and it does. And that leaves us, oh, <laughs> there is a bolt. I lied. Ah, 
So that then leaves us with this. Now, looking at the kit, I believe there'll be a circle clip in there, so I'm going to clean it up and have a look. Okay, so we're learning as we go along. So the cover itself, that, uh, literally just pulled straight off. I just got a screwdriver in that end bit there and worked it off over the pin. And then I gave it a yank and uh, it just popped out. So the circle clip I need now is in there. So there we go, cleaned up a little bit and there's a circle clip just in there. So next job, well you know what that is. Well that's a little bit more of a struggle than I wanted it to be. Um, space is a bit of a premium and getting your circle clip flies in there, not an easy job. So be prepared for a battle. So I think at this point this is the point where you lose the will to breathe. So what you've got to try and do is dislocate and break every single finger in your in your hand. Um, push that plunger down because on the side of that plunger it has a gap. At the same time, while you're pushing that down, which is not an easy task, I can assure you, um, you've got to then get the circle clip off because the circle clip won't come off unless it's in that groove. Um, yeah, interesting idea. I'm not impressed. <sighs> Well, that was a blooming struggle, but finally I got it. So yeah, you've got to hold the plunger down and then try and manipulate the circle clip out at the same time. Uh, the circle clip pliers I used um, were angled ones, which seemed to be the best, but oh, that, that's not an easy job. I can assure you, you will struggle and swear on that one, because I know I did. Right, crack on. Right, so now it's just a case of, yeah, taking the plunger out. Do it look bad? Yeah, can't tell, can you really? Right, so when you've got the plunger out, you've then got a spring and a seal. So that's the way that all goes together. And the spring, I assume, yeah, seems to fold onto that cap. Uh, so the new one, and get some light on there, the new one has a little peg on it and that to me goes on the spring like that right that is a bit soft i've got to say so could have been the problem right clean up time so assembly is just the reverse of obviously um taking it apart um but tricky um easier to get the circle clip in this time but you still got to sort of push that down and manipulate it uh, try <laughs> try and stop it from springing out while you get the circle clip in so not easy, bit of a struggle, but um, yeah, didn't take as long as getting it off. Right, um, obviously a lot of lubrication to get it in because you've got new rubbers on there, so they don't want to be going into dry metal. Um, so now, yeah, get it back on the bike again. It's probably not necessary, but a little bit of grease on the lever. It ain't going to hurt. Right, all back together, a little bit of juice in there. Let's get bleeding. There you go, a little bit of vacuum on there, pull the fluid through. Perfect. Well, as always, ZXR brakes are notoriously bad to try and bleed and very difficult to do. So, I've got gravity feeding going on there. So, I've got it open on the nipple there, draining down into that. Uh, obviously it's in fluid so it can't do anything, can't suck up anything. And the same going on this side, so I'm just going to let gravity feed for a little while. Um, because everything I'm doing at the moment just doesn't want to work. Well I won't lie, this is becoming a pain in the arse. <sighs> Nothing I'm doing at the moment seems to um, be bleeding the brakes. Ah, <sighs> This is becoming a bit of a nightmare. So it's off again, and um, I've become a little bit fed up with Chinglish rubbish. So that's the new one. That's the old one. Nowhere near the right size. So that's why I weren't getting any pedal, pedal, <laughs> any brake, because they're the wrong parts. Ordered for the right bike, wrong parts. 
sick of this stuff. eBay is the bane of my life. So she's back in one piece again. Using the old parts, not ideal, but I've got a fairly good break at the moment. So um, I don't know. Yeah, just despair, I really do. Stuff on eBay at the moment. I've bought several things recently, and all of them have been wrong. I just uh, I give up, really do. That's uh, what you get owning old vehicles and um, trying to maintain them. Right, that'll do. Yeah, as you can tell from the tone of my voice, I've had about enough. Thanks for joining me, YouTube. Catch you in the next one. Hopefully for a bit of a better outcome. Bye-bye.